All right, guys, I made it to Fun Spot Kissimmee. Don't know where I'm going. I think this is Old Town. I'm not sure if it's separate or connected to it. I know nothing about this place, really. I should have ride Mind Blower. You know, that's probably the only coaster I'll probably go on. It's because I'm not like a credit for or anything like that. But yeah, I'll definitely give you guys a little tour and get some footage. Let's chit chat and let's go. And that's the main reason why I'm here today, it's for Mind Blower. And I kind of caved in, I ended up buying the wristband. So I should be getting tons of rides on Mind Blower and all the other coasters and other attractions. With tax and everything, it was $58 even. And then if you go to the Orlando Fun Spot, you pay extra 10 bucks and you can ride all the coasters there. Or all, all the rides as well. But yeah, let's go baby. There are nothing but good things about this. Yo guys, this ride looks sick. A lot bigger in person. Was not expecting this. It's probably that's the world's tallest sky coaster, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, time for this. And our Uber has arrived. Holy macaroni sauce, guys. Mind blower is incredible. I was not expecting that. It was like a double down. You get like tons of airtime on it. And that inversion is sick. I think that's my first ever inversion on a wooden roller coaster. And I'm not including the hybrids. Yeah, it's going up the chain now. Let's get some footage. And keep in mind, it's also a complete walk on. So I'm going to be getting tons of rides on this. After I'm done filming this video, I'll probably get at least two or three more rides and I'll probably check out the other coasters here. Okay, yeah, let's go, baby. It's also much longer than I thought it was, too. I thought it was like a down the drop, go through the inversion, a couple other turns, and that's it. But no. They have a kitty coaster here, but like I said, I'm not a credit horse, so I'm gonna be skipping out. And towards that wild mouse over there. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with the park, so I have no idea what other coasters are here. I know there's one that's somewhere down that way, which I'll probably head to next. This one's Galaxy Spin. It actually has a longer line than Mind Blower, surprisingly. Just your average old spinning wild mouse, nothing too special. Yeah, I had a wristband, so I might as well just go on it. That's the line. Alright, just got off a galaxy spin. If I'm not mistaken, this is the same layout as Raging Cajun at Six Flags America. The only difference is this one, you don't spin that much and it's kind of slow. If you want Six Flags America, you're actually like completely dizzy when you get off. So yes, it's probably one of the worst spinning wild mouse coasters I've ever been on. The best part is probably like this little double up section right here. Besides that, that's pretty much it. I'm getting some Dorney Park vibes right now from the monster truck show at Halloween Haunt. I went back in 2019. This one's much bigger. So this is the main park right over here. But, if you go through Old Town, I saw a coaster in the back, which I believe came out, I think, two years ago. So yeah, I can't really see it. It's kind of secluded from the other rides here. But yeah, I think that's the last credit besides the kitty coaster I need to go on. 
You have to cross the road to get to this coast, so you see it right over there. Uh, it's like a ghost town here. I'm not even sure if this is open. No, it is. I see someone in the station. But yeah, this is the only coast that's open over here. Or ride, I should say. Like I said, you, it's weird where it's low key. You have to walk across the street, and like there's a couple kitty rides. Tilt the world on this. So yeah, let's give this one a go. This reminds me of the Star Jet that was in Seaside. Not sure if it's the exact layout or similar, but it reminds me of it. That's the one that fell inside the um, Atlantic Ocean during Hurricane Sandy. But yeah, let's give this one a go. Looks like the go-karts are popular here, because look at that line. Yeah, I'll be skipping on that today. I mean, they're fun, but I'd rather do Mind Blower again. Or maybe five more times. <laughs> so I got five rides total on Mind Blower. I got the back row three times, front row once, and the middle once. Back row is definitely the way to go. Now this, this we see the Titan track, this would be a lot better. It's a little janky in at some parts, I guess, but it doesn't kill the ride. This might be a very unpopular opinion, but I might actually prefer Mind Blower over El Toro. I don't know, I really have to think about that one, but yeah, it's a great ride. Well, that's pretty much going to do it for Fun Spot America here in Kissimmee. Um, it's my first time here. I actually thought it was a pretty cool, small park. Mind Blower is awesome. That's pretty much the only reason to come out here, to be honest. This ride's terrible. The Blue Hurricane or whatever it's called. I mean, it's a good family coaster, but... Eh, Phoenix Star is just a uh, mind blower. I had fun, weather held up which is good, but yeah, I might be going to the other fun spot later on today, I'm not sure, I'm gonna head back to my hotel and see, uh, see if my room is ready because I haven't checked in yet. Yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out.